It is no secret flying out of the Idaho Falls Regional Airport can be costly, but the real question is why? We wanted to get to the bottom of this, and tonight we are digging deeper to find out. Eyewitness News reporter Chris Oswald is here live with us now with what he found in this special report. Chris? Uh, Todd, the answer, it's really pretty simple. Airlines can charge you an arm and a leg and make bank here by flying in and out of Idaho Falls only because you're willing to pay. Taking off from Idaho Falls' airport for your holiday vacation likely means you paid a soaring fare. We're very aware of the price differentials and airfares between uh, our, our main uh, competitors, uh, Salt Lake City and Pocatello airports. Take a flight from IDA to Vegas. We picked the dates November 7th through November 11th. That's three weeks out from when checked, a good time frame to get the best deal, according to Craig Davis, IDA's airport director. The cost, about $520. Fly out of Salt Lake, you'll pay about half the price, and you're going to pay between $140 and $300. Bucks. And even flying out of Pocatello, still cheaper, you'll pay $425. <laughs> Choose to land in Seattle with the same dates, you'll pay $526 to fly out of Idaho Falls, but drive south and you'll end up paying half yet again, between $250 and $300 bucks for the same flight. Out of Pocatello, it'll cost you roughly 460 bucks. All of these flights on Delta are united. Soaring cost is the number one reason why Davis says 60% of potential IDA passengers pack up and fly out of Salt Lake. The fact is, uh, Idaho Falls is not being intentionally uh, priced uh, higher than any other airport in our, in our area. So if we're not being targeted, why do we pay more? The answer is pretty simple. It all comes down to supply and demand. The demand is there, the supply is not. Airlines know this. We're a perfect money making airport for them. They leverage that demand for their profitability, unfortunately, for, uh, for our passengers. Which is why IDA is working to drive those prices down and keep passengers right here in eastern Idaho. So now that you know why prices are so expensive out of IDA, the question is, how are they going to drive them down? Davis says that he has an idea on how to do that. Coming up tonight at Fox 5 and right here on Channel 3 at 10, we're going to look at those plans and what they are. It is a part of the story that you won't want to miss to save you a buck. Reporting live at Idaho Falls.